high fifth grade, let's look at this area model. I'm going to do two practice problems with our area model here. One using an area model to solve, the other looking at an area model to figure out what equation is being worked on. So let's start with this one here. I've got 891 divided by 27. So I know I'm going to need to set this up as an area model here. So I'm going to create a box. I know that my divisor, that's the second number, that is what is doing the dividing, goes outside on the left-hand side. Just like if you were making the regular house method, you would put the divisor outside the box. So 27, I'm trying to figure out 27 times what number that I'll end up writing up here will give me an area of 891. That 891 should fill the inside of this box. So I'm going to start with friendly numbers. I'm going to start by thinking about multiples of 100 or 10 that I can multiply times 27 to get me close to my final answer. I know that if I multiply 27 times 100, I'm going to end up with 2,700. That's too much. So I know that I'm not going to have any numbers up here that are 100 or more. So let's think about a multiple of 10. I know that 27 times 10 gives me 270. Okay, that's not quite close enough. Um, 27 times 20, I can even write this off to the side. 27 times 20, I know that that's the same as 27 times two with a zero on the end. So 540, that's getting closer. Let's try 27 times 30 and see if that gets anywhere closer to 891. So 3 times 7 is 21, 6, 7, 8. So remember, I used that shortcut of multiplying 3 times 27 and adding my 0 on the end. So 810 actually gets me pretty close. So I am going to write 30 on the top of my model. I'm going to draw a line here. 27 times 30 equals 810. So that's getting me close to my 891, but I'm not there yet. So you can, let me switch colors for a moment. I like to write in my boxes 891 minus 810. Let's figure out how much I have left, how much I need to keep dividing by. Eight. I have 81 left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 81 and it's going to be what I need to fill in this next box. So now I'm looking at 27 can get to, you can even write it up in the top. I want 27 to get as close to 81 as possible. So again, I might do some guess and check with multiplication on the side. So let's see. I know it's going to be way less than 27 times 10 even, because that was 270. So I'm looking for single digit numbers. So let's start with 27 times 5, okay, and see where that gets me. 135, all right, way too high. I need to go less than 5. Let's try 27 times 3 maybe, 27, 3 times 27, carry that too. Look at that, 81 exactly. So I'm going to put my 3 up on top here because 27 times 3 gave me 81. I can prove that I don't have any more division to do because 81 minus 81 is 0. So to find my final quotient, I'm going to take my 30 plus 3 which will give me 33. So 27 times 33 equals 891. Quotient times divisor should always equal dividend. So our answer is our quotient times our divisor 27 does in fact equal 891. Okay, so that's how to solve a problem with an area model. What if we were given an area model and we needed to work it backwards? Let me draw an area model here. Let's say I had 37 on the outside 
2,960 in one spot, 259 in another, and 7 in this last spot with an 80 and a 7 on top. So this is a solved area model. And we want to figure out what uh, division problem is this actually solving here. Well, we do know our divisor. Remember, our divisor always goes on the left-hand side. That's the number that is doing the dividing. Mm, I better scoot that up just a little bit so you can see. We know that we are dividing by 37 here. Okay, I know that along the top is going to be my quotient. And to find that quotient, I need to add my top numbers together. 80 from the first part plus 7 from the second part equals 87. Okay, so here's my quotient. And I see that this part right here, this 7, it didn't have anything above it. It was blank. That tells me this is a remainder. So I'm going to do 87 remainder 7. Had there been another digit on top, I would have added that to my 80 and 7. So that tells me that I have 87 times 37 gets me close to my number, but there's still a little bit left over. So the last thing I need is my dividend. That's what goes inside my dividend. To find the dividend, I add up all of the pieces inside my area model. So 2,960 plus 259 plus 7. Add these up carefully. And my dividend is 3,226. Uh, the problem that we're solving then, 3,226 divided by 37 equals 87 remainder 7. So when we can work uh, an area model problem forwards and backwards, it can help us to really understand what the division process means. It builds that understanding and those division skills as we move forward. Thanks, fifth grade.